Hi students, good morning. I hope you all are fine. Welcome to our grade 11 business mathematics class. Third chapter analytical geometry. So exercise 3.3 we have completed. I hope you all of you completed your homework. Only one problem I gave homework for you. Okay, I hope you all of you learned your formulas, everything, maintaining your classwork. Okay, so we'll start our next section 3.4 circles today. Our section name is circles. First you need to know what is circle. You know is it right? What do you mean by circle? So no need to take down in your note. Just you read it from your book. Okay. So what do you mean by circle first? What's a circle? A circle is the locus of your point which moves in such a way that the distance from a fixed point is always constant. So you know is it right? So from the fixed point, from the fixed point using one radius that is okay so from the fixed point using one radius if you are drawing uh, means it will be a circle is it right so the fixed point is called the center and the constant distance so if it if i am drawing by using the center by particular radius as a circle means from here to here here to here here to here all the distance miss between the center and the circle to be a same okay so the radius is a constant okay Answer. So that's the definition you can learn from your book. No need to take down in your note. To do no homework, put the heading. What are the things you need to take to your note? I'm saying now. So put the heading circles. You take this definition, uh, read this definition from your book. That's enough. So next, put the heading the equation of a circle when the center and the radius is given. Write down this. If the center is at the origin, the equation of the circles. Understand? If the center is at the origin, the equation of the circle is so this also you need to write we will use there so you write from here so first you write this okay ah, okay so one thing you do the equation of a circle when the center and the radius is given so take from here to here to your note the scene particular is no need understand so c of h comma k be the center r be the radius p of x comma y be any of the point so cp is equal to r cp square means r square so what's the formula x this is also one formula this is another formula so two formulas in circle x minus h the whole square plus y minus k the whole square is equal to r square if the center is at the origin we will use this formula if the center is at some point means we will use this formula okay let's move to the problems so that much you need to take care okay example 3.17 find the Equation of the circle with center at three comma minus one and radius is four units. Okay, so find the equation of the circle with the center three comma minus one and radius is four units. Now only I said if the center is at the origin, we will use the second formula x square plus y square is equal to r square. If the center is at some point, we will use the first formula that is x minus h the whole square plus y minus k the whole square is equal to r square. So here if the center is at some point, is it right? So you need to use the first formula. Understand? Okay. Solution. Equation of a circle. What's the equation of a circle? Now only we have learned x minus h the whole square plus y minus k the whole square is equal to r square okay so here what is h comma k value h comma k equal to 3 comma minus 1 so what's the r value 4 substitute here that's all so x minus 3 the whole square plus y minus of minus okay so plus 1 the whole square is equal to 4 square so simplify that is a minus b the whole square formula so a square minus 6x plus 9 plus y square plus 2y plus 1 is equal to 16. Bring all the terms to one side. x square minus 6x plus y square plus 2y. 9 plus 1 means 10. 10 minus 16 equal to 0. Simplify x square plus y square minus 6x. Plus 2y minus 6 is equal to 0. This is the answer. Understand? Okay, very easy. I just type substituted in the form. Okay, that's all. 
So if the center is at the origin, what's the formula you will use? x square plus y square is equal to r square. So next problem you will use that formula. Understand? Okay. Shall we do? Question is. Find the equation of the circle with center at rg. Okay, the center is at rg. So rg means what's the formula I use? x square plus y square is equal to r square. So equation of circle. What's the equation of circle is? x square plus y square is equal to r square. So here what's the r value ma? r is equal to 3. Just you substitute x square plus y square is equal to r square minus 3 square. So x square plus y square is equal to 9. This is answer. That's all. Understand? Okay. Next we are going to learn another one formula. So take down your book. Put the next heading. Equation of a circle when the end points of the diameters are given. What is given? So uh, first itself I said coordinate geometry is easy but each and everything the formula is very very important. Same as our uh, 10 standard coordinate geometry. Okay. So please differentiate all the formulas and learn it. Then equation of a circle when the end points of the diameter are given. So what's the formula? Okay. So the formula is given in your book. Take down your book. I will mark and give from your book. You can write it. So after completing this example, put down this heading. And this is a formula, you write it. x1 minus x minus x1 into x minus x2 plus y minus y1 into y minus y2 is equal to 0 when the end points of the diameter are given. Okay, so next problem we will use this formula. Okay. Next one. Example 3.19. Find. The equation of the circle and the end points of the diameter are two comma four and three comma minus two. So it is given in your question, is it right? That is diameter. So now only you have learned the formula, we will use that formula, that's the okay. solution. Equation of a circle. When the end points of the diameter are given. What's the formula? Now only I got you x minus x1 into x minus x2 plus y minus y1 into y minus y2 equal to 0. Okay. Shall we write all the points first? So x1, y1. What's the point? 2 comma 4. Okay. Then x2, y2. It is given in a question. 3 comma minus 2. Just you substitute in the formula. That's all. So substitute x minus x1 value 2, x minus x2 value 3, y minus y1 value 4, y minus of minus plus 2 equal to 0. Now multiply everything inside. So from here to here x square minus 3x minus 2x plus 6. Here also plus y square plus 2y minus 4y minus 8 is equal to 0. So x square plus y square this one means minus 5x. This 2 means minus 2y plus 6 minus 8. So minus 2 equal to 6. This is answer. Understand? You are feeling very easy. Is it right? So but you need to learn the formula. That is very very important. Okay. Then next one we are going to learn is general equation of a circle. So take down your book. Put the next heading. General equation of a 
circle that also there's the formula is there you need to learn that one okay take down your book put the next heading general equation of a circle okay here you write down this line that is the general equation of a circle is this is the general equation so straight line what's the general equation combined equation separate equation here general equation of the circle so g f and c are the constants so from here to here then okay center and radius center is minus g minus f radius is this one understand okay then uh, this are the formulas you need to learn then the general second degree equation this one is given represent a circle if a equal to b coefficient of x star is equal to coefficient of y star h is equal to zero no x y term so if uh, in any problem uh, coefficient of x square is equal to coefficient of y square means you can apply this one then there is no x y term means we will apply this one understand understand all of you okay so uh, this one note you can learn from your book so remaining whatever i said uh, that send their radius and the general equation of a circle you take out okay let's move to the next example 3.20 find the center and radius of the circle x square plus y square minus 8x plus 6y minus 24 is equal to 0. Understand? So, first you can compare with the general equation of a straight, uh, general equation of a circle. No, not compare with the general equation of straight line, it would be wrong. Okay, so given equation is x square plus y square minus 8x plus 6y minus 24 equal to 0. Compare with the general equation. Okay. So, compare with what's our general equation? x square plus y square plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c equal to 0. Okay. Compare it and write down all the values. So, here a value, b value and all is no need. So, g, f and c alone you need to find the radius and center. So, g, g, what's the value 2? g is equal to minus 8. From that, g is equal to minus 4. Then, same as that f value. So, 2 f is equal to 6. From that, f is equal to 3. Then, next one. c equal to minus 24. Now, you write down the formula. What's the formula for center? Center c minus g minus f. So that's equal to center minus g minus f means minus 4 is a g value. So minus of minus 4 plus 4 minus f. So minus 3. So this is answer for center then radius. What's the formula for radius? R is equal to square root of g square plus f square minus c. What is the g value? Substitute minus 4 square plus 3 square minus minus of 24. That's equal to square root of 16 plus 9 plus 24. That is equal to add it. 16 plus 9, 25. 25 plus 24 means 49. Take outside of the square root 4 units. Don't forget if it is a radius, you need to put units. Okay, the unit is not there means they will reduce half for you. So radius means it will be units. So this uh, circle, the section is very easy but separately you need to learn all the formulas. Okay. So what's the formula for radius, what's the formula for center, what's the general equation of a circle, then um, what about uh, uh, if h comma k, that is the center, any point is given, that is the radius uh, 0 comma 0, sorry center 0 comma 0 means what's the formula. So everything you learn to learn separately, then afterwards you do the problem, then only it will be very easy for you. Understand students? Let's move to the next question.
okay forward values of a and b does the equation one equation is given represent a circle write down the resulting equation of the circle okay so write down um, so one condition is given it is represent a circle is it right so here forward value of a and b does the equation it is given the write down the resulting equation of the circle okay so from this you come to know that is uh, you we are going to use the note okay so when you are using the note that is xy is equal to 0 so if xy term is equal to 0 so what will happen b minus 2 term also is equal to 0 the keep it in mind coefficient of xy is equal to 0 from that you will find b value then coefficient of x square is equal to coefficient of y square is it right so from that you will find the a value and substitute there understand that is the general equation represent the pair of straight line a equal to b it is given understand so here a value and b value is equal so from that you can apply the value understand solution the given equation is a minus 2 into x square plus b y square plus b minus 2 into x y plus 4 x plus 4 y minus 1 is equal to 0. So uh, I have taught you that is a value is equal to b value whether a value and b value are equal yes is it right so a equal to also 2 will get b is also 2 will get okay so a value and b value are equal so as per the conditions above Then we can apply that okay so what's the two notes coefficient of x y is equal to 0 so what's the coefficient of x y b minus 2 is equal to 0 from that b equal to 2 then same as coefficient of x square is equal to coefficient of y square what's the coefficient of x square here a minus 2 what's the coefficient of y square here b so what's the b value now you have found completed so 2 so a equal to 2 plus 2 okay so a equal to 4 b equal to 2 now what's the resulting equation substitute in that given equation that's all resulting equation is substitute there a minus 2 is it right substitute in the given equation so a minus 2 means 4 minus 2 into x square plus 2 y square plus 2 minus 2 into x y plus 4x plus 4y minus 1 is equal to 0. From that what's the answer? 2x square plus 2y square. This term will be 0 plus 4x plus 4y minus 1 is equal to 0. This is the answer. Understand? Okay. Let's move to the next question. Let's move to the next part. Okay. Example three point two two. If the equation of a circle plus y square plus ax plus by equal to 0 passing all the points 1 comma 2 and 1 comma 1 find the values of a and b okay so the equation passing through the points it is given okay so equation passing through the points means what's the meaning <coughs> x value y value everything is given okay so from that you can do solution the circle given question that is the circle is x square plus y square plus ax this b y is equal to 0 passing through what are the points 
passing through 1 comma 2 and 1 comma 1. So first you put as 1 comma 1. So in the place of x and y 1 comma 1. So 1 square plus y square 2. Okay sorry 1 comma 2. So 2 square plus a into 1 plus b into 2 equal to 0. So from that what's the equation a plus 2b plus 5 is equal to 0 which implies a plus 2b equal to minus 5. Take it as first equation. Afterwards 1 comma 1. For that you will get one equation. So what's the equation you will get? 1 square plus 1 square plus a into 1 plus b into 1 is equal to 0. So a plus b is equal to minus 2. You got another second equation. You need to find the value of a and b. Is it right? For that what will you do? Just you solve equation 1 and 2. Solving 1 and 2. What is equation 1? a plus 2b equal to minus 5. And a plus b equal to minus 2. So change the symbol. So this will get cancelled. So what is the balance? 2b minus b minus b equal to minus 3. Then substitute b equal to minus 3 in equation 2. So what will happen? So a minus 3 equal to minus 2. So a equal to minus 2 plus 3 means a equal to 1. So what are the a b value? Therefore a equal to 1, b equal to minus 3. This is the answer. Understand? Okay. So very easy. So we have completed up to example 3.22. Remaining examples we will see in the next class. So now it's the time to give the homework for you. Take down your book all of you. Mark down the homework. First Roman, first problem, second problem. So H, K and R value is given. So what's the formula I use here? X minus S the whole square plus Y minus K the whole square is equal to R square. Then find the center and radius of the circle. So this problem I will do. Okay, first Roman. Except first Roman you need to do this two. This three. How will you do this? Uh, this two already in the standard form. That is you compare with the general equation of the circle. And you will find center and radius. G and F value. So here in this problem. You first you multiply inside. And form it as an equation like this. And afterwards compare with that and do it. Okay. Then this question also Homer. Problem number 4. Find the equation of the circle. Whose center is 2 comma 3. And which passes through. Uh, sorry this one we need. So this enough. So homework is. Exercise 3.4, first Roman and second Roman, problem number 2, 3 and 4. This is all the homeworks for you. Okay, so reminding, we will see in the next class. Uh, please do the homeworks and learn uh, all the formulas. There are many formulas we have learned today. So please learn out all the formulas in the next class. Again, I will say some formulas in that. Okay, so before that, learn it everything. Maintain your class with neatly. Please don't forget to do the homeworks everything. Okay. So, remaining some examples, example 3.22 we have completed. So, there are four example problems are left there. So, some exercises are there. So, we will do it in the next class. Okay, students, be safe. We will meet in the next class. Thank you, students.